what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel so today i'm getting back out into the yard and at this point in the fall i really wish i was showing you how green and lush my yard was but for north carolina this year we have been setting record days above 90 degrees which completely sucks for a tall fescue yard like this but today i'm going to be working on this section of the yard and again it is my weakest section so that's the one i want to concentrate on the most so in the past month, I have now overseeded, thrown fertilizer, mowed it twice, and I'm trying to keep irrigating it and keep it watered in order to keep it from going back dormant. But the temperatures have just been so high, I can't keep it green. It dries out, and then before I get the irrigation, since I only have sprinklers, before I get the sprinklers moved around the entire yard, it's already starting to brown out and dry up again. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with a heavy shot of aerate, and I'm gonna hit it with a heavy shot of dethatch because we are still so hot that I've got all this dead grass that's sitting in the middle. Whenever it does start cooling off and the grass starts growing, I want there to be plenty of room and plenty of airflow for those new blades to come up through the ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this section, get it done, get the irrigation started, and then hopefully in the next couple weeks, it's showing it's gonna cool down, but I guess we'll see uh, if that really happens. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get some rain here soon so I can quit running these sprinklers so much. But with that, I'm gonna get to spraying it down. So I'm sure if you guys are watching my videos, you probably know about this stuff if you've come from another yard channel. But if you don't know about the next products, basically what they are is a liquid nutrient program that you can use for your yard. So I use this stuff not as my main program, but as a supplement to my regular feedings that I normally do. And in times like this, this stuff comes in handy and I love throwing it down. So this is actually a 005, so you're gonna get a little potash from this. And it is also 8% humic acid. So this stuff is going to help penetrate the soil, soften it up, and get the water and all the nutrients going down into the ground to keep it a little bit softer and keep it from drying out so fast. And then this dethatch product, it contains all kinds of ingredients that are actually going to help the microbes inside the soil start to come alive a little bit and eat up that thatch a little bit easier. Now it's not gonna be a miracle worker where all the thatch in your yard is just gonna disappear, but it will help thin it out a little bit and it'll help in between like mechanical dethatching whenever you do that uh, at some points during the year. So with both of these products, since it is so hot and the crown is in so bad shape, I am gonna go ahead and use the maximum rate. Normally supplementing with these, I don't go the maximum rate, but being that it's been so hot and the ground is in so, so much need of getting some extra nutrients in it, I'm just gonna go ahead and max these two out. So it'll be uh, nine ounces per thousand with the Air 8 and also nine ounces per thousand with the dethatch. And that front section of my yard is 5,000 square feet. So I'm gonna be putting out 45 ounces of both of these products through the good old ortho dialing spray. So if you've never used one of these before, they're super easy as well. And I'm not gonna go through calibrating it, but I should be able to get the whole front yard done in about 10 minutes or so. It makes it way easier than trying to mix everything in a backpack sprayer. And I definitely recommend getting one of those if you don't have one. But I'm hoping these two combinations here will help open up the soil, get everything soft and get everything growing. And then once it cools down, I'll get into my second application of my macro furt, and as well as get some more iron down to get the color to come back and hopefully finish the year pretty strong.
Well, apparently my camera doesn't like it being more than 90 degrees any more than we do because this thing will not stay on longer than about five or 10 minutes. It cut off while I was spraying my first pass there on the yard. But I've got everything sprayed down now. I've got both sprinklers set up and running. So I'm gonna water it in a half inch today, get it all the way around this front yard, make sure it's all watered in nice and good. And then after that, we'll continue to water the rest of the yard and hopefully in the next couple of weeks when it cools down, we'll be able to see a real transformation. But I'm excited to see the difference between this section and the section over here once that air rate and that dethatch kicks in and gets working. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button so you can follow the full transformation of the yard. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. All right, so the next video is right now. And the reason I'm filming in my truck is because with little dude hanging out back there, I do not have nearly as much time as I did in order to get these videos edited and uploaded. Um, I'm kind of behind on getting the videos out, but we hit 100 subscribers a couple days ago and I'm super excited about that. So I do want to do just a little giveaway on the channel. It's not going to be much. What I'm going to be giving away is a $10 gift card to either Lowe's or Home Depot. And the reason I'm doing either one of those is because I know people have their preferences of which store they like the best. And I want you guys to tell me which one you would rather have. So the way you enter is definitely be sure to like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave down in the comment section below Home Depot or Lowe's. Just write whichever one you would rather have. And in the next video, I will go through and pick a winner from the comments in this video and let you guys know who won. So once I pick the winner, I will get in contact with them in order to get that thing shipped out. But I really appreciate you guys for checking out the channel and watching all the videos. And again, breaking that 100 subscriber mark was a huge deal to me. So now the only thing we can hope for is even more. So I'm gonna keep bringing content. I'm gonna try to get my videos out a little bit quicker than I have been. Uh, but again, it is hard now that I'm on daddy daycare duty. It takes most of my time out of the day through the week when I was posting videos and working and doing all that stuff. But again, thank you guys for checking out the videos. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button and we will have a lot more content coming at you. I'll see you guys in the next video.